Are you having computer problems? Maybe you've forgotten your password to your PC? Don't worry, help is at hand. I might have a neat trick that might help you out. So stay tuned. Yeah. Today I'm bringing you a video I didn't really want to film. One of my friends had their computer scammed and then locked by um, someone who called them over the phone and then put a password on their computer, so obviously a complete cretin. So I'll show you what it's doing at the moment and then I'm going to show you how to remove a password on a Windows 7 computer without knowing it at all and not having any administrator or other accounts on there. So I'm just going to boot up and show you what the computer is currently doing. So you can see we've got the account here, there's n it's not logged on, there's no other accounts we can get into and I have no clue what this password is. The password hint, I believe, was something like King and that's lagging out as well so all they've done is they've really messed it up yeah password hidden is king so I've tried stuff like Lion and stuff like that and Martin Luther just to see if they were stupid enough to kind of give me a good idea what it might have been but oh well it didn't work so I've, I've no clue what it is so what you're going to want to do is you want to start by shutting down your computer Alright, after this, you want to start it up again. So I've abruptly shut down the computer while it's mid-boot. So I turn it back on again. Now, we're in Windows Repair, so we're going to launch Repair. That may take a little while. So as you can see, we're in Starter Repair. Alright, it now says, do you want to uh, restore your computer using System Restore? So you go Cancel, and you wait for it to load, and it'll say it's attempting repairs. You'll eventually come to this screen, where it will say, Setup Repair cannot repair this computer automatically. So you'll need to go to View Problem Details, and then scroll down to the link. So you want the very last link. So you click on that. So now you're in a text file. And then you go to File, Open. Now you're in the computer. So then you go into Computer. Select your local disk. The letter may be different. So on this occasion it's D. But you'll usually tell which is your local disk because it's normally the largest one. So now you're in, so you then go on Windows, but before we move forward, we need to change the uh, files type to all files. And now we need to go look for System32, so there it is, up there, and then go into that. So we now need to look for SETHC, so that's S-E-T-H-C, let me just give me a moment to find it. Ah, here it is, set HC, and it will come up as an application. So then what you do is you change a letter of that to some random, just change the name of it, so I'm going to put a zero at the end of it in this occasion, and then click away to save or press enter. Now what you want to do is find command prompt, so that's CMD. Perfect, here it is. So, copy it. So scroll all the way down to the says so some free space and then paste it. Then rename it to set HC. And then click away to save. So there we go. We have then got a command prompt file which has got the name set HC. So now we've done that. We'll just close it. Close that as well. And don't send, and then finish will reboot your computer.
So as you can see, it still can't log in. I can try putting the password, I still don't know it because that's a stupid scammer. But now we've got sticky keys. If we press shift five times in quick succession, we now have the power of command prompt. So now we're going to type in, we're going to do net user. So now we've done this, so now we're going to do net user space the name of your user account, so in this case it's Jenny, and then star. So then it's going to say type a password for the user, so we're going to just put password. Retype the password to confirm. There you go, and it will say the command has been uh, done successfully. So now we've done that, we'll go on our user, type in the password that we created, which was password, and we are in. But it looks like they've done some more damage, so I'll have to have a look at that, what they've done. Thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful. If it was, leave a like, subscribe, and enjoy.